hey guys uh welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i uploaded a video i've been um, busy with a lot of things and a lot of life and i lost my dad recently so it's been really, really tough so i've had this project for a while now and i have not yet been able to complete it but uh, this time around i'll be going on to to um, install the other component that i need to install which has been delaying for for almost a year now so i'll be installing the motors and esc on the wings and also the connectors to be installed on the wings and um, before we proceed to do that now why don't i just take you back to what i've done before and watch the later montage let's go sand it is time to sand the fold so we're just going to do that now Sanding the first wing, as you can see, the full shape you have. All right, the two wings are fully sanded down, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. So good. Um, these worms are not um, that strong, but eventually, we'll be fiberglassing this foam part, so that would that is going to increase the strength of the wings. I see the air for sure. Nice. Okay, it's time to cut out the fuselage. I'm going to be using this block of foam here. So I'm going to use it to cut the um, fuselage shape out. Okay, hey guys. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to cut out the shape of the fuselage out from this foam but um the foam is too thick so what i'm just trying to do is using this hot wire cutter to trim off the ss before i will shape them with my exacto blade so that is what i'm currently doing now all right the center foam uh fuselage is ready and i'll glue top and bottom side as well and i'm going to be sanding it into shape um i lost a couple of um, video clips over the years um i didn't have where i was gluing the wing um mount and the wing spar in place yeah i'm just demonstrating um the wing mount and how it locks in place and it's quite um good and, and flushed with the first sludge and the wing
Thank you very much for watching that montage. Let's get back to the video. Right, so after soldering all the wires to the connectors, the connectors has been screwed down with uh, two mm um, screws and it's well secured now. All that is left is to test the control surfaces and test the motors too as well. 